What a night this is going to be. Dulwich Hamlet hosting an FA Cup. First round tie against Football League opponents in Carlow United. Under the lights at Champion Hill. The Hamlet are of course in round one for the first time since 1998. And are seeking a round two spot for the first time ever at the 15th attempt. Gavin Rose has signed two new players this week in Ben Dempsey and Nathan Smith. Both of whom start as well as Richard Orlu and one time Carlisle United player Jeffrey Monacana returning to the starting lineup. The Cumbrians have had a good record in this stage of the competition in recent years with 10 wins from the last 11 attempts. They picked up a much needed win against Macclesfield in League Two last Saturday and opt to make just one change as Byron Webster replaces former Leatherhead man Mo Sagaf. to McCurdy. It's all right, they've managed to get it. Test for Nathan Smith to defend here. Decent ball in, it's flicked on. It's got to be a finish. Uh, and somehow Dulwich have blocked the uh, shot coming in. And they've won a free kick. Here's all Luke. Going along looking for Mills, it's over him. Chapman lays off and Yusuf will chase after it. And he's won it out of Yusuf. On he goes. Still Yusuf. Chance for him. Blocked by the defender behind for the corner. It's not far wide. The flexion could have gone anywhere there. Yusuf winning the ball of Byron Webster. Goes to take the corner. Floated in. Carlo Heads. Meeting the first two headers. Punted downfield. And now the counter attack is on. And Dunnage look exposed at the back here. It's McCurdy. Taking the ball down the left wing. Vose has got to try and come and deal with him. Good tackle, Don Vos, but McCurdy's able to go on. Drilled in and in by Olufella Olamola. Counter attack from Carlisle. McCurdy leading it down the left wing. Vos put in the first challenge. McCurdy was able to go on. Drilled in the cross, and it's turned home by Olamola. Eight gone, Dulwich behind. One end to the other so quickly there. Dulwich were exposed against Bath on the counter-attack last weekend. It's happened again. Sixth goal of the campaign for Olomola. Look to Danny Mills, it will go. Mills heads on. Chapman running. And Chapman winning it back. And fouls by Jared Brethwaite. Smith's been in good goal scoring form recently. Three goals in his last four games. It is Smith to take. It's over the top though. Vos waiting on the left wing. Comes inside of his man, Don Vos. Open up for a chance, perhaps not on this occasion. Dempsey, McCoy. Looks to take on his man, drives the area, Marvin McCoy. McCoy off the crossbar. Bar and over. He's only scored once in his professional career, Marvin McCoy. What a time that would have been to score his second goal. The woodwork denies Dulwich. Mike Jones to Bridge, being harassed by Vos. All comes to the far side. Low cross comes in. It's out for a uh, goal kick. Going to short to Orlu again, who's on the right wing. Chips it forward. Mills will try and head down. Second ball's going to be won by Thomas. Wide to Gethin Jones. Carlisle attacking towards the dog in a who end. Thomas Jones. Low ball into the post. 2 0. <laughs> Carlisle extend the lead. It's McCurdy who arrives at the near post. Not finish. He joins Olomola on six for the season. Dulwich have been the better side this first half, but clinical finishing from Carlisle when it matters. McCoy and Yusuf probably did slightly better than uh, Smith and Monica on the other side, but here is Jeffrey Monica, uh, sorry, Nathan Smith. Don Vos on the outside of him, he's got Monacana down in front of him. Monacana sends in a cross, it's headed on. Oh, just behind. Teammates wait. Olomola low cross, blocked by Dempsey. 
a slip and Vose snaps into a challenge and it rolls for Monacana, but that's a foul by Vose. Three men wall, curls it round and straight into Charlie Granger's chest. Foul on Mills down the right wing. All the players come down the right wing and he's not been in charge of set pieces. Usually reliable though. Monacana in. Header, goal! Dollinger back in it. Christian Smith again. Fourth goal in five games. That's the start they needed. Monacana reliable again. Smith gets up, scored at Haven in the last round. And the defenders on the score sheet again. Listen to the noise around the ground. They're dreaming again. The goal for the Hamlet. Only finds McCoy. Early pass to Ade Youssef. Dulwich believing again. Youssef going on. Still going. That's a foul by the defender Webster. Youssef in full flight. He's going to get a yellow. Listen to the noise around the ground. Long delay. It's Chapman who steps up. Chapman gets over the wall. Wide. From here it looked like it was goal bound. Certainly the right height. Collins' reaction, he maybe gave it away. By Gethin Jones to Thomas, into the first goal scorer, Olomola. Mike Jones, onto his right foot. Is there a shot for him? Yes, there is. It's good effort. Oh, what a goal. What a fine goal that is. And Carlisle restore their two goal lead in emphatic fashion. Wonder strike from Jones from distance. Got it onto his right foot and let fly. Don't save too many of those. Little Granger could have done. Perfect response to silence the crowd from Carlisle. To uh, Olomola. Carlisle just trying to go up through the gears. Olomola again, about 19 yards out. Shift on another shot from distance. And this time it's over. Went for it again, Mike Jones. Foul. In comes a free kick. Well, Brantley was there, and it's wide. Webster got the final touch, didn't hit it sweetly. Snatched it a little bit. So a nice touch by McCurdy. He's drawn his man, tries to bend around Granger. Oh, it's not far wide. Took a nickel's way through. Granger may well have saved that. Gets a high five from his teammates, so I suspect he did. And Carlisle on the break again. McCurdy still getting the booze. Onside here is Bridge down the right. Player in the middle. Sagaf McCurdy wants it back. On he goes, though. Nathan Smith coming back at him. He wants to dig out the cross, and it's wide the near post. Mike Jones back to... Webster under pressure from Mills, loses out to Danny Mills and Mills gets past him and it's bundled over. Dive goes against Mills. Big decision, Webster's been booked. The referee has made a big call there. If he feels it's a dive, he should book Mills here. Yeah. He's got it in the form of Chapman. Smith again, Chapman, lovely layoff. Smith, low cross. Oh, and wide. It's Clunas flying in. Got in front of his man. Difficult one to hit goalwards. I feel myself welling up. Clunas nodding down. Ben Chapman. His turn to burst forward. Being manhandled. Referee's given an advantage. Chapman, lovely flick. On he goes, Chapman. Deserves a goal. The shot saved by Colin. A fairly comfortable one for him in the end. It's with Granger. Again, hammers it long. Chapman. Clunis. There were two unmarked Dulwich players there. Chapman again. Chapman goes for goal from distance. Looks straight at the goalkeeper along the ground. Had other options, Chapman. Christian Smith back to Granger. On for Akinyemi. It's been quite quiet since coming Akinyemi. All those and Smith getting a bit of a mud. All those has it back though. Made sure he wrestles it off the new man, Carroll. That's a lovely ball out to the right where McCoy picks up. 
Clunis is on the move. Threads a pass to Clunis. It's just slipped, but retains the ball. It's, uh, eventually loses out, and there's a chance here for number four. It's McCurdy. Get past Smith, can he? Yes, he can. 4 1. And that is Carlisle United safely into round two. Dulwich have given it their all tonight, but an incisive breakaway, not for the first time this evening, has ended their hopes of forcing a replay and a second goal of the night for McCurdy. Slipped in, took the ball away from Christian Smith and as Granger came out, slotted it across him. And it's not to be Dulwich's wait for an appearance in round two. We'll go on another year. Those. Chapman. Clunis gets the byline. Lovely pullback. Akinyemi. Smith, Mills, wide. So close. Just couldn't sort his feet out enough, Danny Mills. Right under them, had to dig out a shot. Close for Dulwich. They're still going. And Carlisle bring it away. And there is the full-time whistle. Carlisle United, congratulations to them. They make it through to round two, but Dulwich Hamlet, all the players should be proud of themselves tonight. They put on a great show. And for large periods of this game, they really worried their league two opponents. Gavi would have hoped to cause an upset tonight, but how proud are you of the boys? I'm very proud. I'm, I'm proud of the, the football club as a whole. I thought the support was uh, fantastic, loud and uh, throughout, even then we were losing. Um, really spurred the boys on to keep playing. Um, and then the players, I thought they worked their socks off. They were very honest as a group. There were some good technical performances in there. Some of our boys stood up to their boys uh, and were their equals, if not better. Um, obviously, they've gone forward a few times on the break and been very clinical. Um, they were set up to be compact as a, as a team um, and not leave too many, too many gaps. And I felt that we needed to have a little bit more quality because they left less gaps. And uh, maybe we rushed the final pass or we got a bit excited. And I understand that because we don't play on this sort of stage. We play in front of a big crowd, but we don't play in front of a, a TV audience and, and this massive gate as it was, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was a really good effort from the lads. I don't think there was much in the game, to be fair. I think the scoreline is a bit harsh on us. We, uh, I think they had about six chances and scored four. So it was just one of them. They was more clinical than what we was tonight. All over the park, though, great performances from the lads. Yeah, very good performances from everyone. We all put a shift in. We all wanted that to go out there to win the game, but just unfortunately, as you said, it won our night tonight. From minute one, they really took the game to the opponents, didn't they? As you say, they stood up to a man the whole the whole team. Yeah, um, Ade running people down and, and, and creating opportunities. Uh, ben Chapman, Danny, uh, Jeff, I thought had uh, some good guile. He's just come back really from a, from a, a flu virus and you know it was a bit of a risk, but you know we gave it a go with Jeff and I thought he was very positive until he blew up. Um, the two boys in midfield, Ben Dempsey and, and Dom Vos, I thought <laughs> were fantastic. Looked after the ball well, ran, ran really hard. Uh, and the back four was an experienced back four and I thought they'd done well, you know. So generally I, I would say it was a, it was a good performance. Um, we've got to remember that we, we're playing against a team two leagues above. Um, which is, this is their, their profession. Um, and they showed that at times. Perfect start to the second half. What were you thinking when Smudgers nodded that in? As soon as Smudge scored, I thought, yes, we're back in this, we've got a massive chance, but we just switched off straight away and we allowed them to get a foothold in the game again and as soon as they scored that third, we was always struggling to get back in it again. And the fans and the noise, when we scored at 2-1, you must have been rocking, you must have felt it behind you, all the noise coming onto the pitch. Yeah, I thought uh, Christian scored again. Um, he, one of the things he did say to me in pre-season that he does well in, in the box and he's, he's proven that. Um, good balling as well. And it, it just seemed like because we scored just after half time, we might have had a bit of momentum. Um, and I think Ben Chapman just missed with a free kick. Um, that was really close. And obviously, that would have made things really nervy for them. It was excellent. Like, you walk out, you get goosebumps every time you, you run out because there's just so many people around. They're just supporting you the whole game. It was mental. Like, we, we conceded the fourth, and everyone's jumping up and down for joy. Like, it's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it, and I hope they continue to do that throughout the season. And just finally, we spoke in the last three years about the FA Trophy run, how much it meant to you, and how much you wanted to repeat that. You wanted the FA Cup run, you've done it. You must be keen for more success like that. You want more nights like this uh, at Champion Hill. 
Yeah, I think one of the things when I first came here, I remember me and Junior always said that this club could be a big club um, and, and we had expectations of ourselves and the club that maybe a lot didn't and, and now we're starting to, we've woken up the FA Cup now, so now everyone starts to expect that next year. That isn't a pressure for me. I, I, I love the night and I think Junior and all the players love the night uh, and next time we want to get ourselves even better so if we uh, get this position we can maybe uh, advance, you know.